Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys the best export settings to remove any render glitches and to improve the quality of your videos. So first, I just want to go through an example of a render glitch that I encountered. So you can see in this first clip that I used, that the first clip that I rendered, you can see this huge uh, glitch and this huge level of artifacting. And then I re-rendered the video with the correct settings and you guys can see there's no glitches whatsoever. So let's actually go to my export settings to show you guys how I fixed it. So there's actually two methods that you can use. You can use the first method, which is going to be using the H.264 codec. And essentially what you want to do is you want to change your quality from automatic. And then instead you want to restrict it to a certain specific bit rate. Now to determine the bit rate, you're going to use a formula. So the formula is four times the frame rate and then times that by a thousand. So for example, uh, with a 24 frame video or 24 frames per second video, you would do 24 times four and then times a thousand and that'll give you 96,000 uh, kilobytes per second. If you have a 60 uh, frames per second video, then you do the same thing, four times 60 times a thousand, and that'll be 240,000 uh, kilobits per second. So that's essentially how you determine that bit rate. The next thing you want to do is you want to go down to the keyframes and instead of changing, instead of using automatic, you want to change it to every one frame. I think it's by default at every 30 frames. You want to bring that down to every one frame. So that's method one. Change the bit rate, just whack the bit rate up as much as you can, but you know, use the formula first. If the formula still doesn't work, then just max out the bit rate to anything that is reasonable for how much space you have on your hard drive and then change the keyframes to every one frame. So the second method is actually going to be using a different codec. So instead of using H.264, you want to change this to DNX HR, and then you want to change the type to DNX HR LB. And that's essentially the next method that you can use if the first method didn't work. But I personally use the first method and it worked fine. But again, if that doesn't work, then try this method. Now, the only downside with both of these methods is that the file sizes are going to be much larger. And that's because with both methods, you're basically increasing the bitrate, and that's just inherently going to increase the file size. So that is a downside, but that's how you get rid of the artifacting, and that's how you increase the quality of your videos overall. But anyway, guys, that's the video for you. If you guys have enjoyed, if this brought you value, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.